If you like paying more in taxes than you have to, this video is not for you. If you want to reduce or possibly eliminate your taxes on your Social Security, well then keep watching. If we haven't met, I'm Tony Hansman, a licensed financial advisor, and I love helping families create financial plans for their retirement. Please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button because things are always changing and we want you to stay in the know and never miss out. And I'll make sure to link everything that I talk about in the description box below. So let's jump right into it. If you stay up to date on changes regarding Social Security, it will put you in the best position to get the most benefit out of long-term retirement planning. Even if you're already in retirement, it's always good to stay in the know as some of the new rules could impact you as well. While working, you pay a FICA tax. It comes right out of your paycheck and a large portion of that goes to Social Security to pay out benefits. Many people don't know and often get offended when I tell them when they turn on their Social Security, it could be taxed. Now, don't shoot the messenger. I truly want to help. I want to show you how it works and the things that you could possibly do to prevent this from happening. So first, let's start with the basics you need to know. The calculation to determine if your Social Security benefits are taxed is called the provisional income. You take all of your taxable income, investments, rental income, capital gains, earned income, and your withdrawals from your tax deferred accounts like an IRA, a 401k, a 403b, TSP, and your RMDs, your required minimum distributions. So you take all of that income plus 50% of your social security benefit, add it up, and that is your provisional income. Most people don't realize that RMDs are mandatory at the age of 73. If you don't take it, there is a big penalty. And by being forced to take that RMD, it can cause your social security to become unnecessarily taxed, a double whammy. If you're single, and your provisional income is greater than $25,000, then 50% of your social security benefits will be taxed at ordinary income. If you make more than $34,000, then 85% of your benefit is going to be taxable. If you're married and your provisional income is greater than $32,000, then 50% of your social security benefits will be taxed and if you make over $44,000, then 85% of your Social Security can be taxed at ordinary income tax rate. And if you think taxes are going to be higher in the future, that makes your case even worse. But stay with me because I'm going to give you a couple tips to possibly fix these problems. Now, usually someone's two biggest assets are their home and a retirement account, such as a IRA, a 401k, a 403b if they're a school teacher, or a TSP if they're a government employee. And one strategy is to reposition your largest asset, in this case we'll say it's an IRA, to tax-free financial vehicles like a Roth IRA. You also want to look into your employer's 401k Roth plan if they have one and other tax-free places. You want to start this sooner than later so you have a better balance between your non-qualified your tax deferred accounts and your tax free accounts. Now, please remember, I don't know your specific situation and this is not specific financial advice. There are pros and cons to all of these investments and strategies. This is just gets you thinking outside of the box. However, if you can reposition some of this money from tax deferred to a tax free account earlier, then you're not forced to take out RMDs on an account like a Roth IRA. That money can grow tax-free, take withdrawals tax-free, and it doesn't cause excessive tax on your Social Security. You need to have a conversation about where you see taxes are going in the future. Will you be working or not? Implement tax bracketing each and every year. How much money goes into each account? Possibly working bonuses, inheritances, part-time income, other cash flow income, your age, your health, the standard deduction, and much more in figuring out what is the best strategy for you and your family. A good plan will help make sure that you never outlive money so you're not a burden on loved ones, and it will also help reduce your overall risk and minimize taxes are just a few. I realize that this can be very confusing 
If you need help, just reach out to us. You can find our information in the description box below. Lots of changes and updates, so make sure to comment and ask any questions that you have, and I'll do my best to respond to those as quick as I possibly can. If this video was helpful, check out the next video on the screen, and please make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on maximizing your retirement plan. And as always, don't forget to consult a licensed professional who understands your specific goals and dreams.